if you are not already a subscriber to my video or if you have not already thumbs up this video if you do like it of course at the end of the video if you like the channel check out my other videos and subscribe if you feel like you want to be part of the finesse gang today um we are coming to record this video this is a requested video it is a get to know me video so let's get right into it these are the questions that i got so i'm going to be reading from the screen so the first question says what made you love nails so i have had a passion for nails for a very long time i first got my nails done probably when I was in 8th grade. My mama did not play that, number one. We was all about the Lord, honey. So, the nail thing, that was just a no. Um, but when she did kind of ease up off of that, she let me get my nails done and I have had my nails done ever since. Um, I think... Okay, so, if you... I live in um, a city in Florida or whatever and one person, the first person that started doing my nails, his name was Jermaine. Everybody know who Jermaine is. Um, Jermaine went to school with my brothers, my older brothers and my sisters. And he was a very well-known nail artist. And he would always keep my nails, like, different from everybody's nails. Which is what a tech should do. You know, you don't want to give everybody the same style or whatever. But, um, so what made me love nails was the inspiration that I got from the people who serviced me and did my nails for all of these years. So, after, you know, I got my cosmetology license, I really did not explore into nails like that. I went into hair first. Um, and then I learned, you know, I went to hair school but then I started coming around to nails because, like, why not? I mean, it's, it's something that I've been getting done for years. I know the process. I know the customer service behind it. I know what I like as a customer. So, why not? Sorry, that was a lot. The next question is, how did you learn to do nails? And how long does it take you to do your own nails with that length and shape? So, first Part of the question how did you learn how to do nails um again from watching the process from getting my own nails done is how i first learned how to do nails but formally i went to cosmetology school where they taught us how they taught us the proper way to service our clients um and the different nail diseases and everything that you needed to know like theory we did clinicals and then i branched off and took um, a nail class, a beginner's nail class from the nail salon where I used to go get my nails done at. So it's nothing like having the person who you love and who you're inspired by actually teach you the basics of doing nails. After um, I was taught the basics, you know, like the beads, how to get a perfect bead, how to place the nail tip on, um, things like that. Everything else um, is self-taught. So I'm still learning. I do consider myself a beginner. Um, but I took that class um, last year. Last year in September. No, two years ago in September. Because Miss Rona was doing her thing last year. So it wasn't my show. Um, okay. Next question says, is doing nails your dream or just a job? Doing nails, servicing clients and doing nails is my passion. I will never get tired of doing them. I probably will do them until I die. Literally. Um, no, if it's just a job for you, it's not what you need to be doing. I work in banking as um, my main job, my corporate job right now. And that's just a job. That's somewhat I don't want to be. Okay, it's just no but doing nails is definitely a dream of mine something that I'm passionate about so the next question says what is your biggest fear huh. 
So I did not look at these. I mean, I looked at the questions, y'all, but I did not like write down any answer or any particular answer. So I have to think about this. Because honestly, I don't fear anything and I don't fear anybody except Jesus Christ. Um the being punished. So you know what? My biggest fear would be being punished by the good Lord. Um any kind of punishment that will come from him. Although it would be a lesson learned, it's still a, a punishment. And that's my biggest fear. I'm not really too much scared of anything else. Guns, violence, none of that none of that shakes me whatsoever. So um, okay. What makes you really angry? What makes me really angry is I don't like the fake, I don't like fakes, phonies. Um, I don't I despise bad energy, um, bad vibes. I'm big on energy. I'm big on spirituality, big on Jesus. So anything that opposes that angers me. Um, and I want no parts. Um, uh, what makes you laugh the most? Twitter makes me laugh the most. Outside of Twitter, my husband. He's very much a goofball with his wife. So, I think that's one of the things that keep us, like, gorilla glue together. Oh, y'all, please don't mind my nail. If you follow me on, on my nails, you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that one night, Biscuit, I don't even, it's not going to focus, but one night, Biscuit was... Trying to put her little foot out the tub. And what I did was I jumped really fast to try to get her. Because at the time she did not, she could not keep her balance. And she was falling. So, you know me, I tried to put on my mom cape and fly over there to her. And I broke my nail. The plate lifted off of the bed. And so, it, any, I'm glad I didn't damage the matrix. But... FYI, any damage to the nail plate lifting off of the bed is going to take 10 to 18 months to heal. Okay, so you definitely don't want to put anything on it. So your girl has just been rocking this snub. This one, honey, I get tired of a set real quick. I'm always taking my sets off so uh, to keep advertising because I do not have a steady clientele and I'm working from home in corporate world. So... I have to always market and advertise on myself. So that's what's going on here. Getting ready to change the setup. Sorry. Um, now she did ask me about. Wait a minute. She asked me. Did I answer her question? How long does it take? I answer the second question. Her second question. How long does it take you to do your own nails with that length and shape? I normally wear stiletto shape. Um, because I don't normally do both hands. Um, I normally just do my right hand, um, my non-dominant hand, because doing my dominant hand takes me like an hour and 30 minutes. Doing this hand will probably take me about an hour. Um, it, right now, it's that long because I always have Biscuit, and Biscuit is always right here with me, so I cannot... I don't have that freedom to just be doing it, you know, practicing and practicing like that without Biscuit. Until she gets a little bit older, she's a little less dependent on me. She's nursed. So, it, all of that I have to take into account. I think that's why I have not um, been able to stay in a shop or find a shop. But, um, because I have to be mommy right now and have to provide for my children. So, sorry. That was long and I kind of skipped over her question. Sorry. I'm going to do, it's probably like 10 more questions on here, but I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do a few more. Um, What does your child want to be when she grows up? Okay, what do you want to be when you grow up? Apparently a ghost right now, because you look like a ghost. Come here. Oops. Come on. What do you, you got to come down so they can see your head. I want to be a singer. Okay, well, sing something for us right now. <laughs> you want to be a singer? You have to. You have to be ready to sing on cue. So when they say sing, Kiori, but something, you got to sing for us. All right, go ahead, sing. No. Want to rap? 
Yeah. Rap song. Hey, you rap A, B, C. One, two, three. I am the coolest mommy in the city. Kiori and Kimura. I got another baby, but we don't know if it's a him or her. <laughs> I'm so green, bro. All right, your turn. Rap. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Black sheep? Okay, no. Whatever. Um, okay. Um... Sorry. It's okay. I'm just sick. Um, I'm just trying to think of one more. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. My favorite. Have you ever had a nickname and what is it? What is your What is your nickname? My nickname, I've had several nicknames, different, com different nicknames coming up when I was little, when I was in high school. Everybody in the hood used to call me Ronnie. Tenderoni, so that was my nickname um, in the hood. But my family's nickname, what they um, giving me is Shay. My nickname is um, Muffin. Yes, and her nickname is Muffin. I got another little baby. Her nickname is Biscuits. Okay. Um, but yeah. Family nickname is Shay. If you call me Shay, that means you know me personally. Outside of that, everybody else call me Ronnie. Um, what is the best gift that you have ever received? The best gift that I have ever received is the gift of salvation. On oh God, best best gift hands down. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to let her do the last one. Because we're going to wrap this up. Have you ever played Roblox? It's a lot of games. Some are scary. Some are not scary. I have played Roblox. And let me tell you, I love playing Roblox. I have my own profile. So you guys should me definitely add it? me if you play Roblox. Yes. My name on Roblox is Pink for P L. N S underscore made you or no ain't no underscore in it. It's P F N S made you. And what's your Roblox um profile? Muffin Kelly ten twelve. Muffin Kelly ten twelve. So follow us on Roblox so mm -hmm. we could be playing Brookhaven and, so and what's we can go your to Royal name High. And let us know in the comments your name or your baby's names on Roblox so we can add them and so we can ride through the city. And, and play. And anything else you want to say? And I hope y'all know how to put. I hope y'all played Roblox before. I hope they played Roblox before either. If you don't know anything about Roblox, you need to grow up. And you need to Period. tell us on the comments. And you need to tell us in the comments your favorite games to play on Roblox. Probably Brookhaven because that's my favorite one. I love Brookhaven too. So, okay. Okay. We are going to be out this thing. Please visit my website if you're in the Florida, Jacksonville, Florida area. Book your appointments, please. And come and do. My mommy's going to do your nails, but we just got to practice some more. We got to practice some more. Practice makes perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. My we being extra. My sister was. Is sleeping right now. Don't tell them what's going on in our house over there. They business. <laughs> Alright, so we'll be back with another video. And it was really good talking to you girls. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your Roblox character names at the bottom in the comments, mm -hmm. honey. So we can add you right now. Deuces. Peace out.